Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Now, the love sign that you've seen, I did end up changing it. I showed Hubby both of them. He preferred the pine cones. And I absolutely did. I don't know what swayed me to go with the pink. It was a moment of insanity. Had to be. But what I did is I added the burlap ribbon with the lace behind it so this is how it ended up looking i just pulled these off put this right over the pink and then so that you couldn't see the pink i just used a sharpie black sharpie and went over wherever pink was showing and to hang just in my own home that is good enough but yeah, definitely, I should have gone with my first thought was this. Like I say, I, it must have been insanity that, that made me think to use the pink. It had to be insanity. had to be. But now, on to tonight's craft. Okay, I'm starting with this frame this evening. It was one I had. There was a picture in it. Somebody had given it to me. I've taken the picture out and put it in a safe place. Um... I don't know who I was watching. I've watched so many of everyone's videos lately. Everybody's mashing together. It may have been... Yes, it was. It was Laura at... I think it was on both of her channels. Haunted Ramblings and Rambling Brambles DIY. Uh, she used a frame and took one of the papers that she had bought that had words on it. I have the same one that I got here at the Dollarama. And at first I was going to copy her and use the words. Then I thought, mm, no, there's a picture that I like in the papers that I got. So what I did is I cut it down to the exact spot on it. The rest of it's mostly all green, if you remember. But I like that part. And I said, okay, let's cut it down. Now, because there's a lot of space behind here, I also cut a piece of my foam to go in behind. So, open this up, put this in. Now, I have thought of a couple of different things. Maybe to put a word down the center of it when I really wasn't picturing it properly. Picture putting a word down here. Um... Now, Laura has, uh, Laura sent me some stickers. There was, there is one nice one that says family. First I thought that, then I went, well, family really doesn't go with the picture. So I found this one here. This is my happy place. Now, when I was at work today, for some reason, I remembered this more white and gray. There is a brown to it because I had contemplating, contemplating, contemplated rubbing some of the brown paint, crafter's paint on here. But now that I see this actually has the brown or maybe it's just the picture bringing that out that I'll leave it like it is. And yeah, I like the way family looked on it, but I thought this would be a good one. Uh, one of the gentlemen at work and myself were talking the other day about the anxiety that everybody's going through right now. And I had spoken with him previously, before all of this started, about anxiety that I had had. And um, I had totally forgotten this. It, it did work for me. And then I forgot, so, you know. Um, he said... When things start to get to you, stop and think of your happy place. The place where you feel the more, most at peace. The place that brings you the most joy. Stop and think of that. So without even really having that on my mind when I was doing this, I thought of that today. I went, hey, that's what I picked out. And that's the, yeah. Big explanation. So this I'm going to put here, but even though I've got the little sticky on the back, I'm still going to put some 
of the glue gun. So I'm going to hot glue on it. Anyways. Not like that. Oh, shoot. That scared the heck out of me. Hubby's playing. He's, I think he's got Facebook on, and one of the things came up. And all I'm hearing is this quiet, hey, hey. I'm like, what? Sidetracked. So, then I started looking at all of my wooden pieces, and I decided I liked the way that these looked on it. I think it makes sense. But, here I'll zoom you in a bit. There we go. But then also, as much as I'm, as I like that, I also like these too, as well. So I thought, why not have both? I think that's okay. Don't you? I do. This is something quick. If you have, I mean, ever, well, I guess I can't say that. I would think most crafters, anyways, would have frames somewhere around. Hubby and I used to, or I used to get frames and keep them aside for when we were at D and D, so that when anybody was leaving, either retiring or they were being stationed elsewhere, excuse me, I would pick some of our photos, pick out a frame, either one picture for a frame or if there was one with three or four I would pick out that for one of the people who left I did one with the different seasons in Ottawa for them to take with them it was just a little something for them to remember Ottawa if they were going out of country or well and also to remember us by But I've done, we've done that with a couple of people where we are now. But, um, I haven't in a bit. Well, because nobody's left. The same thing with the, uh, with the little bag I do for the women who are pregnant. I don't think there's any, been anybody pregnant, not that we know of anyways. So, there you go. Whoa. There. Quick, easy beautiful picture from the papers that you get the paper pack pads some wooden pieces and that and there you go my happy place now that i look at it i don't think i would have wanted putting yeah uh, i would have wanted to put something on here I think it's nice the way it is. I probably have some pictures that are close to this from when Hubby and I would go to Britannia Conservation, also known as Mud Lake. But at this moment in time, we don't have two colors of, of ink for our printer, so I wouldn't be able to print them. Though, mind you, I may have them copies of whatever somewhere here, but I like that. I think it looks really nice. Just put that up and when you're feeling, when I feel stressed, I can just come here and look at it and go, yeah, my happy place. So that's tonight. Um, what was it Jody's craft room? I think it was, I was watching today and she had the wooden hearts with the panels and I had seen them at my Dollarama. So, because Dollarama is still open, because there's food there, I plan on going there on Saturday. I'd like to get, I, she did one with decoupage with a very pretty napkin. And the other one she used, MacTac, wood grain, and put that on the other heart. I think it was Mac, was it MacTac? I'm thinking it was. And then she did another one with um, two plaques attached together for Valentine's Day. But she went ahead, sanded off all the sparkly, like I tried with, uh, with my sign. And she used wood grain paper for that one and switched it up. I'm really pleased with that. Really, really pleased with that. 
So, and now this here, it has been sitting here forever. I, I don't like it. That's him with whatever he's watching. So I will like, will you? I will likely end up either throwing the whole thing out <laughs> or I'll try and open this up to get the wood pieces out. Maybe. How many people think I should just keep working on it? Leave me a comment below if you think I should just keep working on it. Maybe it'll turn out good. I don't know. Now, I know some of the women are cutting out their their Christmas crafting now because Christmas is over. But I stopped and thought, you know, why? If you get a good idea and you have the items you need to continue crafting for Christmas and you enjoy it, then why not continue doing it? You can put it away till, to put it out next year. No problem with that. I don't see a problem with that anyways. I understand that you like to go with the flow as to the season because not all crafters will want to be doing Christmas stuff in July. But if you have a love for it, I'm sure there would be someone out there who also continues to do that season's crafts. You never know. Mine may be a mixture. Maybe I'll still have some Christmas stuff I want to be doing in June because an idea will come to me. I don't know. But I do want to get the wreath I did and add some flowers to it. Hang on. Okay, so you may recognize this. You might. There is a video. Ow. I'm so thankful my glue does not heat up that much. I would have been in pain there. Now, turn this around so I can get it on here. Yeah, for some reason, my glue gun doesn't get boiling, boiling hot, which I'm happy. <laughs> I don't like the feel of pain. Oh, just have to hold it for a bit. Yeah, I really like this one. You can see it from the bathroom. I think that sometimes that's why we put pretty things in the bathroom. So while we're sitting on the toilet, we have something to look at. I know, that's bizarre. Why is she saying this stuff? She's lost her mind. No. Well. You hear the music from hubby's phone but you may also hear the Osbournes I have the Osbournes want to believe it's on TV right now and I had just finished watching it on my PVR I love watching those people they are awesome together and it sounds like they're Jack and uh, and Ozzy, maybe even Sharon, maybe going out on the road to haunted locations. Because they were all for it. He mentioned it, and then Ozzy says on the road. So, I'd like that. I am one saying yes, please, yes. I do watch his other program portals to hell that's a nice one with katrina people will know her from paranormal state and i think it was paranormal lockdown she was on with nick groff 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 so do, 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 do. so you can think about this when you're sitting on your turlet, you can think of other things. Now, I did want to add to this anyways, but I had forgotten I had given 
some of the daisies to my friend downstairs, so. There we go. Really quick one. Put those all together. I have an extra leaf. What the hay? That's pretty. I like that. Whoops. I kind of smooshed out that one. But there you go. That just adds a little... Whoops, you can't see. That just adds a little bit to the top. Oh, I'm going to go put that back up. I have... If I haven't already mentioned, I can't even remember. I am working on a story. Uh... I think I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a few pages in. It's not a big, maybe the book's a bit bigger than this, if not the same size. So I think I've got about 20 to 23 pages. Um, I'm just coming to the part that I have been, well, I had been trying to figure out, but now it's flowing very nicely. Hopefully... I will finish it tomorrow. I don't usually work on them when I'm home. Very rarely do I ever. So, but that is that. Now, I had a couple of other crafts that I'll be doing, but now I don't know where I put the stuff. But that'll be another time, and I have this little cutie, plus the two with the slider. Those I'm still trying to figure out. But, anyways, so thank you to my YouTube family for coming by to check out what this crazy person was doing this evening. I hope you enjoyed that quick craft. And um, did you like the change I made to the love sign and then my little addition to my wreath? I had a lot of fun. I love this. I think it's, it's this just to me. Sets it right there. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you who take the time to come by to sit and watch my videos and you all mean an extreme, an extreme amount to me. I've made some very good friends here on YouTube and I wouldn't change that for the world. I think of all of you as more than friends. You really actually do feel like extended family, like cousins. Definitely. Um, yeah, it means the world. And I thoroughly enjoy reading any comments that you leave. Definitely. It continues to encourage me. Anyone just stopping by to see what tonight's craft was? There it is, quick and easy. Crafting doesn't have to be hours and hours. Um, check out some of my other videos. I have crafting. I have pomps. I have facts. Mishmash of it all. If there's anything there that interests you, please give it a thumbs up. If there's something that you want to say about it, comment. Maybe something you've seen. Maybe a twist to a crafting idea that I had. By all means, leave me a comment, and I will get back to you on that. Share any of them out. Family, friends, co-workers, neighbors, grocery store clerk, to whomever. That's always greatly appreciated. While you're here, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, think about taking that extra step and clicking the notification bell. So that way you'll know each time that I upload. So I hope you've all had a decent Wednesday. We were having rain and a bit of freezing rain, I think, when we left work. So hopefully this doesn't freeze overnight because it's going to be messy. It's time for those cleats on the bottom of my boots that I did not want to put on. And this is what I get for saying what good weather we've been having. Note to self, don't say that. But it's true. So, have a great rest of your evening, and as always, ciao for now. I'm so bad. 
Thank you very much, Tracy and Dan, for the card. I had to look twice. Then I realized it's a kitty. <laughs> and as anyone else who got a card from them, this gorgeous picture of these wonderful people. My phone doesn't show it that great. But there's one thing I noticed, and I brought it to her attention, and we had a good laugh. <laughs> uh, you guys, you're just phenomenal. Thank you so much for the Christmas card. That will be going up here. Oh, you can't see. See that box? There's a red truck on the front of it. That's where all the special cards end up going. So that's exactly where this one will be going. Thank you.